September 25th, 2023, since I have just spoken about the Serbian terrorism. Uh, this one in particular took place on Kosovo. And because we have Serbian terrorists uh, right here in the city of the Novo Mesto, <clears throat> where I was born, where I am from, This was occupied by the Serbian Chetniks during the so-called Kingdom of the SHS and Yugoslav Federation. You see, this is what we were talking about. We were talking about the Serbian terrorism in Kosovo. Uh, I... I must use the opportunity to refer to another local Serbian terrorist, Chetnik, and his family. Uh, to one I did, this is a local terrorist, Shani Mitrovic, who was literally inside of this kitchen with American delegation in my presence with NATO people, demanded in 2005 a new war. Uh, on Kosovo, which would de facto benefit Serbia upon the Dagestan, upon Chechnya, upon the strong cooperation they started to develop between Russia, Serbia in West, uh, Serb Serbian appetites again exploded, Russian and Serbian appetite, which is growing and growing and growing. And sometimes, yeah, it must have been just before the hospitalization because Shani Mitrovic, a terrorist, Serbian terrorist, uh, campaigned and campaigned and campaigned for a new war in Kosovo, which in front of me uh, always got a very negative review. Uh, I always distanced myself from him. He demanded from me uh, support inside of this house in front of, of foreign politicians, which he couldn't get. So they tortured, they tortured uh, psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana, Polio was heavily involved. And finally, in 2013, he even became uh, occasional transporter to psychiatric hospital with idea, uh, with a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polia, is idea, it was this Serb Chetnik terrorist, Zoran Moja, who became my boss over there at this psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polia. He was the one who was uh, loading me. Uh, this guy was already involved in a Moscow, I mean, during my early childhood. Uh, so it's, it's, it's nonsense to talk about garbage like this. Uh, they involved a bunch of Serbs in through this psychiatric hospital and inside of the high, psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje that became my handlers here in Novo Mesto, uh, a local Serbian terrorist, Chetnik, uh, Tatiana Prokšel, uh, became my psychiatrist. Uh, this guy in Ljubljana became my psychiatrist. So they were they were just looking for the Serbs. Uh, and their Slovenian colleagues were taking their side in front of me and demanded total compliance. So this guy would take me to Ljubljana and they were trying to... Basically, this was the stuff that was used to get me on my knees and obey the Serbian orders. Basically, a psychiatry in Slovenia. This is what Slovenian parliament is made out of. This is what... This is what this terrorist Slovenia country still is. This is what they continue to enforce. Uh, but there was another terrorist, a very, very interesting terrorist that was involved throughout my entire life with father. And he's a native from area here. His name is Čertalic. Let me demonstrate you this stuff here. Um, his name was Joseph, Jozef Čertalic. Jozef Čertalic. 
and he had his son, uh, Boyan, third age. Joseph already more or less the same age like my father passed away. He had a heart problems all his life, and then he was replaced by his younger generation, by these people here, uh, which father has uh, the man that you see right there. I want to highlight this terrorist. This is another Serbian. But the Serbs, uh, he's a Serbian uh, from his uh, mother's side. Uh, when they uh, start to grow in your environment, uh, it turns into bestiality, as is evident from my case. Yes, he would torture me in Slovenia, throughout Slovenia. He was used uh, in Serbia, and he was even used abroad to torture. But what the best part about this Serbian terrorist, so that you're going to see with in what kind of toilet they would turn not only your country, but your home. Wherever the Russians or the Serbs come, I'm going to use a perfect example because he's, he's extremely wealthy. He's got a lot of money. He made a very successful contract through this case, literally. Uh, his father grew up literally from nothing into a wealthy guy. At this guy, uh, the only thing that happened was he multiplied through this case contracts in Italy, throughout the Italy and abroad and so on. He became really, really wealthy. I mean, these people, really millionaires. I don't know if already billionaires, but extremely, extremely rich. I had to work for this guy 80 hours a week. Uh, for 100 American dollars as a mechanical engineering technician, but it was not the mechanical engineering technician he would give me. He would give me a job like this. Uh, even I would say that he gave me the job like uh, extremely primitive assignments, you know, loading and unloading trucks, uh, working basically inside of the, um, how do you say this? Uh, just working with the uh, gasoline, uh, cleaning the raw steel material before painting one, painting one. Uh, basically, everything that can be used uh, to get you killed as fast as possible. It just basically anything that 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 would cause like a quick, quick decimation of your health. I did not last at that work, but I did my six months, and then I got the fuck out of there. When I would come home. Uh, it would be like metal that would be falling off my hair uh, whenever I would wash the hair, which I started to wash one every second day because it was so filthy environment that is impossible to describe. It would be the whole... Uh, on the bottom of it, it would be just full of metal and all kinds of shit basically would be falling off me. But it was 100 American dollars for 80 hours a week uh, with my schoolmates making 400 American dollars for 40 hours a week. A plentiful of job at Kirka Pharmaceutical, at local Renault, whatever you want. But Slovenian government demanded for me to work with this Serbian Chetnik terrorist called Črtalic. But what I find extremely, extremely hateful from this criminal is it actually pertains to his grandchildren, the grandchildren of this Joža Črtalic. This is what is like the most, you got to see the hatred of the people that, that uh, I grew up through the kind of people I had, I dealt with. 
So this is the city of the Novo Mesto, and uh, it doesn't matter where it's our house here uh, at the Kirka village or not, because this man was involved since my birth, basically. This man was a family, so the so-called family friend, you know? Uh, what, what matters is this stuff here, right across the Kirka River, there is this company, this is one of the locations he had where I would go to work. I don't have to do this, that's a good thing. Uh, I don't have to do this with a camera. The, the, the torture that went on inside of the street, inside of this area is, is impossible to describe. This was a total lunacy. Uh, but the bigger lunacy took place throughout Slovenia, wherever he would go, wherever he would deliver me, when he would be meeting people. This here is uh, the name of uh, uh, his company, Blast Technique. Blast Technique, uh, he placed this here to remind me that the last is going to be to blast me, basically to kill me. You know? Uh, you see the B is red, and the T are red. Uh, and he translated this stuff to me. Are you going to last or you're going to be blessed? Because we will get you killed. If we will not be capable to get you uh, to work for us, and basically turn you into, into a, a slave, we will get you killed. This terrorist with his grandchildren, uh, that threatened me a large. And he still has a sign right there that says, blast technique. Now, the Serbs did torture me, not only in Serbia and in Bosnian parts of Serbia, in, in occupied parts of Croatia, but at large also on the Kosovo, throughout the Kosovo, as long as I was there, it was a madness about what went on in the Kosovo, throughout the entire Kosovo. Uh, that's why I know that these people are up to no good. The best is to have them in your country, not. Uh, they come for salvation. They come for a different way of life, even for that, but sooner than not, they turn their own ways. They're always, uh, and such is the example of this little Slovenia here that lost uh, southern part of the country called Zumberak uh, to the Serbs, who, uh, well, they were in need of placement because they ran from the Balkans from Turks, and it was this little Slovenia that already had nothing that offered them a piece of land, and sooner than not, with the terrorism, they, take, they took over the locals and everything and proclaimed one Serbia autonomous. And well, it eventually fell in the hands of Croatia because the Serbia is just a little bit too far from here. We don't even have a border with the Serbia, but when they come in your country, uh, in Slovenia, they say, Zaredioce, Zaredioce, Zaredioce kot Shurki. They basically lay eggs inside. And then you have a terrorist next to your home as a neighbor. You have a terrorist everywhere that are connected to the top of the state. They collapse the whole country, the whole system, basically. Of course, I changed a lot. Today is September the 25th, 2023. You have no idea about the blast technique. I am going through the rebirth. Yes, rebirth. Thanks for watching this video till next time. Turtle is everywhere in the Novo Mesto. Uh, a local employment, uh, he made it in Chantierne, he made it in Dolenske Toplice. Uh, they are like, but he made it even bigger, I understand, I was told, in Serbia. He opened the Serbian in Serbia, the company and is pouring the money into Serbia. This is the guy who had me in Belgrade, where he would meet these top politicians uh, and arrange 
a way, a platform for the money or to talk a denaria with Serbia, uh, I should say transfer of the money, the legal way, the, the legal way how to transfer the money to the Serbia, basically, yeah. So I thought I would share this with you. A blast technique, Velika Serbia.